Hey YouTube, this is Billy It World, and today we're going to take a look at my top 5 ways to be a better Battlefield player. Now I don't claim to be the best Battlefield player in the world, there are a lot of good players out there and I feel like that I'm getting to the stage where I'm becoming a good player, but at the end of the day it's taken a long time and a lot of frustrating hours trying to perfect the skills that you need to succeed in any Battlefield match. Now when I say Battlefield, I'm not just talking about Battlefield 3. As you may know, Battlefield 4 is coming out very soon and there's a lot of other good games in the series as well. I'm going to be talking about a few things specific to Battlefield 3, but many of these tactics can apply to a lot of different military shooters. The most important thing that you need to remember about Battlefield is that although it is an arcade shooter, it has a lot of tactical elements and really if you're not using tactics in your gameplay then you're not really playing the game the way it was designed to be played. Now this list isn't going to make you a tournament level player, but if you're a casual level player like myself and you really want to improve your gameplay, then these five points are something that you really should consider. Okay, so point number one is planning. You need to start with a clear objective in mind. There are a lot of players that will just spawn in and run straight for the objective, which may or may not be a good tactic for the particular match that you're playing in. My general rule of thumb is that if you try something twice and you fail at it twice, then maybe you need to rethink what you're actually trying to do. There are plenty of ways to help your team without actually running straight up the middle. Try and flank the enemy, maybe suppress the enemy with a light machine gun. On some maps it might even be preferable to really lock down an objective with overwatch sniper cover. What you need to do from situation to situation changes with a lot of variables, so you can't use the same tactic in every situation. However, like I said, if you've tried something a few times and it's just not working, then you can bet that your enemy is going to expect that you're going to do it again, and you can use that to your advantage to try something different. I guarantee that if you know what you want to do and why you want to do it before you do it, then you'll have a greater chance of success in the long run. Okay, so point number two is positioning. I just want to stress how important it is to use cover and camouflage. It's very difficult to try and hit someone if they're crouching behind a rock or a wall, and it's nearly impossible to kill them if you don't see them at all. The biggest mistake I see players make is running out in the open with no cover. What's even worse is skylining, which is when you stand on top of a building or you stand on top of a mountain with nothing behind you to break up your silhouette. It's only a matter of time before you get your head blown off by pretty much anyone that's looking in that general direction. Also another important thing is to use your minimap all the time. It'll show everything around you that's been spotted or anyone that's firing an unsuppressed weapon. It's ideal to try and sneak up behind someone. You're going to win that gunfight 9 times out of 10. And sometimes all it takes is a quick look at the minimap and you'll find yourself getting into situations like this more often than not. Okay, so we're on to point number three, which is choosing an appropriate loadout. Now when I say choose an appropriate loadout, I'm not talking about choosing an appropriate loadout at the start of a match. You need to choose an appropriate loadout for every single objective. A lot of things can change in the course of a game. You'll see a lot of guys running around all the time with M416s and M16A3s. Because let's face it, they are one of the best guns in the game. Now the problem with this is although they're really good all-round weapons, they're not the best weapon for every single situation. For example, an M5K is very, very powerful in close quarter situations, and that's going to take down players using M16A3s and M416s with almost no trouble at all. For mid to long range, a good recon player can actually take down an assault player very, very quickly with M417s, M39 EMRs, or nearly all of the other semi-automatic sniper rifles. Now, I'm not suggesting you go out and use every single weapon equally, but I find that if you play with a few different weapons that excel in different areas, you're going to end up winning a lot more gunfights. It's also very, very important to pick the right equipment for the right situations. There's a lot of assault players that just run around with med packs all the time to rack up extra points. But there's a lot of situations where the M320 and the M26 can come in handy as well. The most important thing is, like I said before, doesn't matter what class you're playing as, if you know what you want to do before you do it, then you're going to have a lot more success. So pick the right equipment to suit what you want to do. Number four is teamwork. This is unfortunately probably one of the most underutilized tactics in Battlefield. I mean, most of the time you're getting spawned into a squad anyway, but 
There's so many players out there that just refuse to work with teammates. If you don't already have a mic, I'd recommend you go and get one. There's nothing better than being able to talk to your teammates and working through problems together. You want to be supporting each other and you want to pick kits that are going to actually complement the rest of your teammates. Ideally you want all squad members to be running a different kit. It's going to mean that you're more adaptable in different situations. The medic's going to be able to throw down med packs and revive teammates. If you've got a good support guy, you're never going to run out of ammo. If the recon guy is playing aggressively, then you're going to have a spawn beacon up the front where you need it. And the engineer is going to be able to take out any vehicles that you come across. The other reason that you're going to want to squad up and stay together is that the sheer volume of fire from four different squad mates is going to decimate anybody that you come across. If you're using yeah, weapons that complement each other, then you're going to have all different ranges covered as well. Which means that if you're running around with an M5K, you're not necessarily going to die by the first sniper that comes across you. Another thing I really need to stress is that if you're playing on a squad that really doesn't know what it's doing, that you're spawning on the teammates that actually need support, or the teammates that aren't going to get you killed as soon as you spawn in. If they're playing a completely different objective to you, or if you're obviously trying to use a different tactic than them, then maybe try a different squad that is working the way that you want to work. Okay, so the last point for today's video is take care. If you expect the unexpected, then you're never going to be surprised. Make sure you're cornering with care. Peak corners, don't just run around them. Don't reload and walk around a corner. If someone jumps you while you're in the middle of that reload animation, you're pretty much dead. And another really important thing is make sure you hold your crosshairs at chest height. It doesn't matter what gun you're using, if you shoot them in the legs you're going to be dealing less damage. Sometimes one shot can make a difference in a gunfight, so you really don't want to disadvantage yourself in any way. Like I said in an earlier point, make sure you're using your minimap. If you're aware of your surroundings, you're less likely to do something stupid that's going to get you shot. Anyway guys, thanks heaps for watching. I really hope that you got something from this video and it helps you to become a better player. If you like what you see, please hit yeah, that subscribe button. Soldier, I'll have a whole heap more Battlefield videos up very, very soon.